You are still watching Breakfast Central on News Central today, Friday, the 23rd day of July 2021. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, so on Facebook, Instagram, and yes, even the other one. All right, let's go straight to two more stories right here. Now, figuring out uh, how to make a comic book uh, for the first time can be quite uh, intimidating a task, especially for those who don't think of themselves as visual artists. Now, most people know about comic books, uh, but uh, almost uh, no one knows how they are made and some old-fashioned folks uh, have not yet realized that comic books are an art form in uh, their own right. Now, and that writing them involves a specific set of skills and processes that of differ from novels and uh, screenplays. Now, my guest today uh, is uh, Lady Anastasia Bolu. She is a cre the creative director and author at AB Comic Books, a silent digital comic book store and telling stories about the African culture and uplifting the African woman. Well, welcome to Breakfast Central, Anastasia. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, comic book writing. Tell us the journey and how did it really start for you? Okay, so for me, I've always been a storyteller ever since I was a kid. So basically this year I decided to do something about it. So I um, self-published my first comic in January of this year and I got amazing feedback. So that basically encouraged me to publish, self-publish my second comic. What was the name of the first comic? The first one is called Psychedelic Affair. Okay. And the second one is Stacy Black, Once Upon a Time in Monaco. All right, so how do you conceptualize your stories? Where, where do you get your inspiration for this comic? I actually get my inspiration from uh, songs, basically. Mm. I really love music. So, funny thing is, every single story is based on a particular song. So I listen to the song, I get my ideas, and I write mm. the stories, yes. All right, and you started this uh, quite young. Uh, so what would you say are the major challenges and hurdles? You know, did you have to go to some form of you know, educational formal training that really makes you a professional at this to really hone your craft? I actually didn't have any training. I, wow. Like I said, I've always been a storyteller. I just decided to do like put something out there this year. Um, I guess the only challenge that I'm facing right now is comic um, comic books, they're not really part of the Nigerian culture and that's something that I want to mm. put out there. Uh, but, but many people might actually, you know, debate that, you know, uh, because you, you look at back in the, maybe some of us when we were growing up, we really yes. loved comics. Some of us attempted, you know, drawing comics, you know, yeah. uh, being cartoonish. And is it also a form of like story uh, boarding. And what you do is, is, you know, is pure art. So what kind of skills, you know, would, would you, would someone who wants to follow your footstep, especially for an African woman, what would you think they would need? I think basically a creative mind. Once you have a creative mind, everything is possible. That's what I will say. Mm. Yes. And obviously, apart from that, the technical skill of actually drawing the comics. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, there's always this uh, question about, you know, we don't have talent or I'm not as gifted as Anastasia. Okay, you know, uh, there's always that barrier to, to navigate. How does someone, you know, go through that kind of hurdle? I think the first thing one needs to do is not to have that mentality, first of all, because I feel like everybody is gifted. You just have to find your own gift and basically nurture it. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, and also being you know, a woman, an African woman, uh, starts drawing comics and going into comic book publishing and production. You know, uh, well, would you say there's any you know, gender-based barriers that you have to break and people say, no, that's not the place, you should leave it for the men, or that's what you should be looking uh, towards. Is you shouldn't be looking towards art, perhaps business or something else, or something softer or harder. Actually, I, I have not really experienced that, um, fortunately for mm. me. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't... I can't speak on that because I haven't experienced yeah. that. Yeah. Well, how's the reception been since you uh, launched your first and second uh, comic uh, It's publishing? been really, really positive. People really like the stories. I, um, I have some reviews on my website already. Okay. Um, so that's basically encouraging me to continue. I plan to publish four more comic books this year, so like six total. <laughs> Where did you have, where, did, where, so where, did, where did you get it from? Like it's from, a, from songs, from ah. songs. I'm, I'm currently writing one as we speak. Like. Um, yes, I'm putting another comic book mm. together. Quite interesting. Well, Anna yes. says that there's an important question because uh, we are in the era of social media. Yes. And smartphones and everything has gone digital. So uh, how do you balance that? Because the attention span is quite you know, heavy, for, whether for the young or the old. So how do you then balance that navigation between social media and comics, you know, and getting it on the digital platforms? Because that has to be the main challenge now, unlike in those days where it was all in print. 
Well, I think this is definitely an opportunity for people like me that um, we, I create digital comic books. So social media is a very great avenue for mm. that. And you talked about short attention span, yeah. right? Um, that's why I decided to go with silent comic books. So if you, if you purchase my comic book, you'll see that I have very minimal writing. Mm. So it's just pictures telling the story. Okay, so yes. it's a silent comic book. That's actually a genre in itself, yes. subgenre within the comic book. Yes. Wow. Yes. So what defines it? Uh, you don't write many texts in yes. your... Yes, yes. So you don't, you don't have people having conversations. Mm. But you see them, you see them doing things so you can tell the story from there. Sometimes you can even interpret it in your own way. So that's, mm. that's what art is about. All right. So, so uh, when you talk about comic books, a lot of us, especially for you know, boys, you think about Superman, you know, Batman, X-Men, you know, uh, and there are different types of comic genres, just like yes. action and horror. So what would you say is your favorite? I believe fantasy. Oh! Yes, fantasy is my favorite. I do not have any superheroes in my comic. Yeah, because you, uh, you create books. yours. Yeah. Yeah, and, and my main my main character for every single comic book is actually an African woman. So maybe that's my own superhero in okay, a way. Okay. So why the African woman? <laughs> because I feel like African women need to be more empowered. Right. Um, I want to tell stories about African women. African women are very complex, they are beautiful, they are talented, um, they are sensual, they are intelligent, so I just want to project that into like the society. Alright, well we wish you all the best. Just before we Thank let you, you go, what would you mm -hmm. tell you know, the young African aspiring comic book artists, either digitally or perhaps in print, what would you tell them right now on breakfast? Just start. Mm. Just start. Forget the limitation that you think you might have and just start. No matter your talent base. Yes, or yes, just that. Well, thank you so much, Anastasia, only for coming on Breakfast Central. And uh, good luck with the remaining comic books for this year. Thank Six. you so much. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> All right.